welcome to Let's Play. Uh, joining us tonight, as usual, is Sorgatron. Uh, we have Riz back with us. Hey, back with us? How's Chachi. Where you at, Chachi? And we have a special guest tonight, Walt Ribeiro. Walt, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Walt Ribeiro. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That was good, right. right? No, okay. So, uh, so I arrange pop songs for orchestra, and I do a new one each week. Oh, awesome! Uh, we're gonna get a little more into that a little later. Um, but as of right now, our first segment, like we do every week, uh, what have you been playing, uh, Sorg? What have you been playing this week? I got some stuff for you this week. I promise. Whoa. Um I actually talked about it a little bit on the Awesome Cast earlier. I was playing some Dig Dug today. Oh, nice. um, because I completely set up one of those little uh, Pac-Man joystick TV things like on my desk, so I will force myself to play video games when I'm stuck nice. waiting for my computer to do something. Um, and it's a perfect thing because it has like Pac-Man and Dig Dug and some other games I don't remember that I never played back in the day, so it's completely new to me. Um, so if and for even shorter attention span, I'll bring my Atari controller in there uh, sometime in the future too. Hmm. Uh, other than that, you know the usual uh, Black Ops to uh, Assassin's Creed to uh, kind of stuff. Uh, I met a lady in it. So, oh, ooh. very nice. Wait, we'll, we'll, we'll get. It. Wait, we'll, yeah, we'll get more into that later too. Oh, we will. <laughs> yeah, we just, will. We spoiled it. It was. One, it's one of the things you should be aware of this week. That there's that there's a lady. <laughs> wait, uh, yeah, wait, wait, ladies. Wait, wait. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Okay, 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 we'll talk about that later. Otherwise, um, <laughs> other than that, just like uh, general, I've been, I've been playing a little more. Uh, was that four pictures, one word? Yes. Game. Yeah. What the hell, yeah. guys? What the yeah, hell did you get me I into? Got, uh, level two ninety four. <laughs> well, I got stuck like on like the third picture that was dates. <laughs> it took me like a week to figure it out. Well, yeah, it, yeah. it's it's uh, uh, Chris it came up with the the title uh, three pictures that are actually related and one that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> <laughs> the one picture that throws you off. Yeah, that's yeah. the one because it was apparently. I'm like, okay, what fruit is that? I have no idea. Or is it a fruit? Is it a nut? I can't even tell because it's just these little shriveled things on a stick. Dates. There you Dogs go. are angry. Dogs. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm playing. All right, um, Riz, what have you been playing this week? Well, I just picked up MLB 13. Not not MLB 13, the show. It's actually just MLB 13. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I have a few other games. I sh I showed Bobby this uh, YouTube account, and it from. I think you heard of Vsauce, right? Those guys over there, they do like all mm -hmm. these cool things. <laughs> but I, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, anyways, they they have three different stations. Okay. Three different channels, and the third one is all about gaming, and I got three games from there where, where been, what is the youtube account it's called vsauce 3 like slash vsauce 3 yes okay and i've been playing a lot of color sheep on my ios okay <laughs> and it's also on android is it this one uh yes all right and i've been playing backflip madness <laughs> I, I played that one for a while. Yeah. yeah. What, it, what is with this Pikachu guy? That one last night. Oh wait, and I've been playing something that might top four picks one word. Oh Just no! Is it Icomania? No. Uh oh. Seven words. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Seven Isn't it words. Seven little words. No. Just oh, oh seven, just seven words. words. Oh, seven little, seven little words. Yeah, that game. Yeah, called. that's what I meant. Seven little yeah. words. words. I think actually, I think that's going to be our challenge this week. Yes. Oh, uh, no. Speaking yes. of challenge, no. has anybody played the challenge? Which was Angry Birds. Yeah, I'm sure no. everybody's. Played I the always challenge. play Angry Birds, so that yeah. goes without saying. Hasn't played Angry Birds. All right, uh, Walt. What have you played this week? Uh, my big thing. Uh, this is true too. Is Chrono Trigger, and the reason why. Oh, nice. Is Very nice. Uh, there's so many games that that. I'm told consistently from different people's like best game you've ever played or not best game you've ever pay, played, but best like top 10 game of all time. And Chrono Trigger has always been on like all those top 10 lists. Um, so I dusted off the Super Nintendo and uh, I, and you know, I 
started playing Chrono Trigger, and it's it's a really good game. I just I still think that Final Fantasy crushes it in terms of role playing game, but uh, no, you know it's pretty good. But that's it. That's like my big. That's like my big game. That, 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 that would take up all your time if you're playing anything, though. Oh, it yeah. takes up like three. You know, it takes up like two hours a night, three hours a night. RPGs tend to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Chachi, what'd you play this week? Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> four picks, one word. Uh, it. You see, the thing about four picks, one word that it really annoys me is the fact that it pops up and it tells you, "Hey, if you like this game, then you should play one of these games." I, I yeah, always click I no. Did. I did. I just want it to be dead. Yeah. Um, I started playing Icomania, uh, which is pretty much the same thing as Four Picks, One Word, except for they give you an iconic uh, picture or a rendition of like a, a brand or a movie character or a cartoon character, and then you have to guess what the cartoon character is. Is it? Oh. Wait a minute. Is it this? No, that's not right. This is the answers. <laughs> I went and searched oh. for Icomania, and all it is 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 cheat sites. <laughs> no, no, this is uh, it's on Android at least. But uh, and then it's the other game it? they tell you to play is uh, Candy Crush, mm-hmm. um, which I had already been playing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I picked up. Uh, I've been playing. Uh, I, I started with Oracle Seasons, but Legend of Zelda, um, Oracle Seasons. I I got all of the uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advanced. Uh, Zelda games um, to replay through so I can get those uh, checked off the 1001 game list. (laughs) That's Uh, cool. So I've been, I I played some of those. But yeah, mainly uh, just blops, but uh, I'll be picking up uh, Assassin's Creed 3 again soon. Uh, Uh, Oh, the the, uh, DLC? Yeah, because of uh, the DLC that's coming out. Isn't that Uh, part two? What's that? Isn't it part two now? Yeah. They just released? Yeah. Um, they released... Uh, I, I don't know what the first one was called. I wasn't really interested. Um, but the second one uh, coming out is called The Tyranny of King Washington. Yeah. And essentially, <laughs> uh, af- in, in this realm, after George Washington becomes president of the United States and you help him to do so, um, he becomes a, a tyrannous king. And so you go from helping the man take over this new free world to uh, trying to convince Ben Franklin to turn his back on George and to take him out. I love Benedict. the artwork for this stuff. Oh, it's Benedict. amazing. But uh, And I wanted to touch briefly on it. Um, I think this is why uh, Ubisoft decided not to do, uh, for lack of a better t- Oh. Like uh, Brotherhood and um, Revelations, mm-hmm. because uh, they found a better way of doing it, and that's downloadable content. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I, I think that uh, because of that, I, 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 they are free to just zoom right on to four. Mm-hmm. 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 And, and they get to do that instead of like reinventing a whole game, because it, it wasn't um, the Assassin's Creed two kind of post cools things uh i mean there was a lot of like they tried different things like it felt like they were kind of trying to add tack on features at a certain point right in what two in like uh not two but like in the uh revelations and brotherhood afterwards yeah they were they were just expanding on uh what you could do and they're mm-hmm. doing that uh in these downloadable contents as well okay. so i mean they, they really have no reason to uh, re- release in between games now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because awesome. I mean they can pump out uh, short downloadable contents a hell of a lot faster than they can full blown uh, hard copies of these games. Yeah, yeah. And they already have their market for it right there. Yep. So I mean, if and, anything, oh, if yeah. anyone sees like the artwork for Tyranny of King George, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, so based on that alone, if someone should be browsing the internet and they see it and they're like, man, I would really want to play that. Well, guess what? That's a, that's another three sales for them. Mm-hmm. All the artwork in the Assassin's Creed games are just, that just grabs you and just like, play this game. 
<laughs> yeah, so I mean, it works out well for them. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I'm a little iffy on, and apparently they did this in the first downloadable content too, is that uh, Connor now has, for lack of a better term, superpowers. How okay. so? Well, in the first one, he had this new uh, wolf cloak that allowed him to basically become a predator type creature. Oh, like he would blend in uh, to an unknowing eye. He would blend in completely to the to the environment and be able to uh, uh, basically just sneak ass assassinate someone that way. Hmm. And in the new one, uh, it's a an, a hawk or an eagle type power that allows him to essentially glide a hell of a lot further than he would have been able to jump. So he's Batman now. Or yeah, essentially. <laughs> or Princess Peach from Mario Two. Yeah, yeah that, oh, that works. That's true. Yeah, that's mm. <laughs> works Wait, too. wouldn't that be wouldn't that be Luigi since he's jumping higher? No no no, she's the one that would glide. Trust yeah, me. She, no, he's, 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 uh, he's like Princess soaring. Peach and Mario Two. Princess um, Peach. From the chat room, guys, uh, we got a bunch in there popping up. Uh, Antonio uh, says he finally started playing Lone Survivor and a little bit of fake em on. Uh, Tom played Pixel Quiz. He says he had to guess movies based on 8-bit representations of the lead characters. Huh. Nice. Uh, oh, man. He also Where played uh, uh, with FTL and got Rhodes back into uh, Diablo 3. Antonio says he also got to play a bit, play a bit of Mega Man uh, 7. Cool. So. Bang awesome. man, big huge hit with me. Mm -hmm. um, I I have actually uh, played various Facebook games, uh, of course, um, the the ca online casinos and stuff like that. Um, well, Marvel yeah, Alliance event. I can't get away from that money. game. Um, yeah, I'm, I have a fake gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, if Simpsons, you're gonna have any, this is, yeah. this is a fake intervention, Bobby. At least fake fake gambling problem. I don't lose anything except for time. Waste of time. We're also a fake radio show, so it kind of fits. Yeah. By the way, I'm Bobby here, Thomas but money. the past minute, I just downloaded four words, four pictures, one word, and I've been playing it, and the game's amazing. And, and I've never, I've never even heard of it before. It's, it's awesome. And now next song, next week's song is going to be late. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Great. Now see what you did, Bobby. I know. I'm sorry. I was actually going to ask you guys for your help to see if we can figure this live. Because <laughs> uh, I'm kind, I've been stuck for the past like two minutes, but forget it. Um, and two of the other games I played, uh, Darkstalkers. Mm -hmm. um, they just released the HD collection thing on uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Nice. Loved Darkstalkers when I was growing up. Oh. Uh, one of my favorite games. That's a, that's, um, a and com, that's a Capcom fighter, right? Yeah, it is. Um, it's the one with uh, all the like movie monster type characters. Yeah, because I've always seen them pop up in like you know like like the versus games, but mm -hmm. I never actually played Darkstalkers. Yeah. So um, it's I think it's uh, Darkstalkers one and two together. Nice. Um, in one collection. In HD, nice. In HD. Um, another one I, I I said last week I downloaded Virtual Fighter Five. Um, been playing a bit of that. And of course, Call of Duty Black Ops Two, mm -hmm. which we play every Friday or Saturday. Without so, fail. That's what I've been playing. Awesome. Um, moving on to our next segment, um, Walt is going to tell us what projects he's been working on. Walt. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Unless he's playing like with five five You ruined <laughs> wait, wait, wait. the show. Is that the one? Is that the one? Well, try dates. I bet it's dates. <laughs> That's the one I got. I think that's the one I got stuck on. No, so, here look. So I, I got. Oh, I can't. I can't go back to the third one. Well, anyway, I figured it out it was train, and there was one where a guy was in front of a computer, pointing at the computer in front of a girl. There was another. Oh, one. The, then the other picture was a was a kid trying to teach his dog how to jump or something. So it was just uh, then there was another one of a train actually going by, and I was trying everything. <laughs> like I was trying to point, uh, you know, sweat or pay attention or something. Uh, Nothing worked, and then I did train. I got it on my, on my last try. But okay. So anyway, what I'm working on right now is uh, do, so I'm doing this weekly thing with Tay Zande uh, of Chocolate Rain fame, and uh, that's it. I'm arranging these orchestra songs. I mean, what I do uh, at Four Orchestra, which is like my own orchestra arrangements every week. But a side thing that I just picked up on was uh, was Tay and I working together. He's singing over top of my orchestra arrangements, which is pretty fun. And we've done Skyrim. We're doing Pokemon. Uh, we're doing a lot of them coming out. It's, it's, it's actually going to be pretty fun. And they've been pretty, you know, pretty well passed around. 
you know, it's been good. Nice. nice. Yeah. And, you know, and so it's funny. It's like a lot of people, myself including, knows Tay from his Chocolate Rain days. And it's like you don't really realize until you talk to him of how, like, actually intelligent he is. I mean, he's a really, really smart guy. And he's as into music as much as, as I am. Like, he's got, like, a whole studio. It's pretty impressive. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, the guy's completely cool and totally normal. Really smart. Like, I mean, he's really intelligent to the point that I would say sentence, like, like the dog jumped over the couch, but his sentence would be, like, the, you know, the fluorescent dog, uh, you know, majestically <laughs> hovered over the comfort of the couch or something. Like, very kind of, like, elaborate stuff. And mm-hmm. It's, like, mm-hmm. very, very, now, very funny. Now, I think it's important to note, this isn't your first video game-themed uh, uh, work either, right? No, I do. I do a ton of gaming stuff. Like, the gaming... Com- the gaming community, like the gaming culture, um, is like some of like my biggest like fandoms. You know, uh, everything from like Mega Man to Final Fantasy to Pokemon. Oh, sorry. You know. <laughs> yeah, there's Mega Man. Oh yeah, it's Mega Man. That's nice. Got to run, got to run now. Got to run, got to run now. Right. Whenever, whenever I need to get pumped up on the on the ride in a, a, a job. That, that's what comes up. Right. Yeah, well, don't press the gas pedal too hard. No, it wasn't no. Too when you ride. <laughs> but yeah, no. So I mean, I do a ton of gaming stuff. I mean, I've done everything from not well, not Metallica, but I've done everything from like Ozzy Osbourne to Rebecca Black mm-hmm. to gaming. So it runs the gamut. But gaming is a big, a big thing that I do. And this thing that I'm doing with Tay is a bunch of fun because he's awesome, and I, I have a blast with him. But we do plan on doing a, a ton of gaming stuff together there, too. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, man. Now, Bobby, you're the big Skyrim guy. <laughs> yeah, huge Skyrim fan. <laughs> I, really? Okay. I tortured everybody with Skyrim for, like, weeks on end. <laughs> weeks? Yeah. Well, so, months on end. <laughs> well, He's still like, tortured. That's funny, because I've never played Skyrim before in my life, because I don't have a console, really. I mean, I have Nintendo, but that's it. Um, and my laptop's not fast enough for it. So, you yeah, know, I mean, I kind of like when I arrange something, I, I don't really know much about it. And it takes me longer to arrange it because I kind of want to understand the culture first before I touch it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but no, I should have talked to you before I done, you know, before I arranged oh, Skyrim. It would have been, it would have made I, a lot more sense to me. I, think. I lost months on that game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe I should uh, join the Thieves Guild. Oh, maybe I should do this first. No, nope, no, nope, I want to do this. <laughs> Sometimes pontificating himself in the chat room here, yeah, yeah, as, as yeah. we're watching wrestling or something. Or like, I, I had a, I had a blog <laughs> on Tumblr called uh, "What I Did in Skyrim Today." <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd, I'd write I'd write from my character's perspective on what he did and stuff like that. It was it was. It was did terrible. you ever see the video of the Skyrim people? Trying to get, trying to get the, trying to get like the little ball. I think it was Skyrim. Trying to get like the little ball into the basket. No, I didn't see that. Oh, it's the funniest! It's the funniest <laughs> video of all time. Wait, let me try. I'm trying to think if it was Skyrim. All right, so here, continue talking. Uh, I'm going to play four words, one picture, four pictures, one word, and I'm going to try to find the Skyrim video for you. Guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Totally. Well, I guess we can move on to our next segment now. Uh, things you should be made aware of. <laughs> um, this week uh, we have a cartoon uh, sent in, a comic strip sent in by our buddy AJ. Um, I saw it earlier and I, and I, I was laughing. And it actually has something to do with uh, one of our news stories today. Mm-hmm. Um, so you want to bring that up? There it is. It's uh, from Cyanide and Happiness. So you're going to tell me how you're going to translate this comic into the audio version of the show. Okay. um, (laughs) Yeah. The first panel. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's going to be great. Let's see how this goes. The first panel has a a boss sitting at a desk reading a paper, (laughs) interviewing somebody for a, a job. Okay. And the jobs or the first panel says it says here, this is page one. Of your two-page CV, I'm just going to say resume because I don't know what a CV is. <laughs> <laughs> and the the interviewee says page two is a five dollar DLC. Ah. And the boss says, "Welcome aboard." And ah. they pan out, and it's EA Incorporated. <laughs> so that was fun with web comics. Actually, actually, maybe maybe we should go art house and snap clap. 
<laughs> oh, I'm not snap. Oh, uh, should I have done it like a slam, po- like slam poetry? <laughs> no. It says here. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I was wondering if we should pick a part and role play it. So. Oh yeah, that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, Maybe next time. Now, now, yeah, now we have we have breaking news. We do. Yes. What's up? Yes. Uh, well, something came across earlier today that I think everybody should. I. I can't I, just play the clip, sword. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have audio. No, <laughs> but, but uh, as we see, uh, it's uh, female gamers. Yeah, we have we have, there, there's female gamers. Yes. Well, I'll uh, I'll tweet this out so people can check it out. There, there's yeah, it's, it's female a video. Gamers. <laughs> and. And oh. the local media just found out. Just found out about so, so female gamers. Is yeah. this? And I, I apologize. No, no, something actually something happened with my laptop, and I don't have audio, and I have to restart in order to get it back. Oh, so, no. so basically, is this just a, a, a list of clips? It looks yes. like it's from a montage of this of different people in the in the news saying the exact the same thing. Oh my god! There's thing. female over gamers and over and over again. They're like men, like. Now women are getting into the action. Like, no, no, for no. The love no. of the game. Now wait a minute. Are they saying the exact same thing? It's like, the exact like same from thing. the same script. The same you know how this happens, right? Yeah. Something this, like this goes out over AP, and they just pick it up and read it. Exactly. That, and, 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 and they're like, "Oh, here's a future story," you know, and they just take it and they have a story and they grab some B-roll, you know, of this case, just random footage of people playing video. Because actually, in most cases, it's the same footage I'm, I'm seeing yep. over and over again, you know, a bunch of dudes playing, the game, and then like one chick yeah. is there. <laughs> there she is. Um, at, the, at the end, it's funny. She <laughs> just goes, "Video games." Yes, yeah, video <laughs> games. Yep, again and again. Apparently, they found the one girl gamer. Uh, uh, out there, mm-hmm. so yeah. So. so you should be aware of girl wow. gamers. Or you I, met I one last week on, on Call of Duty. You said what? You you said you met a girl gamer on Call of Duty. No, not me. I mean, well, no? I mean, no, <laughs> no. You didn't. You didn't. Okay. No, that wasn't me. No, it wasn't oh, you. Who was that? I, I, I don't know. Obviously, it's a figment of our imaginations that <laughs> we met girls on on Black Ops. <laughs> <laughs> they exist. They exist. They are not a myth. The news yeah, says so. Oh, excellent. <laughs> All right. Um, moving on to our next segment, our news stories. Um, guys, hey. remember that game? Do you guys remember that game? Draw something. I like uh, the one. It was called Draw My Thing. <laughs> True story. You like that? Was it really story. called that at one point? That's a different called, Facebook game, Riz. It was called Draw My Thing. Mm. Like the, the, uh, wait, fla- wait. the Flash version was called Draw My Thing. Wait, are you guys talking about the Draw Something board game they have over at Kmart? No, that's Pictionary. Pictionary. So oh, oh, oh. That's oh. and and analog words with friends is Scrabble. Oh. Um. But anyways, you guys remember Draw Something, right? Yes. Sure. Well, today. I guess on his radio show, Ryan Seacrest announced Draw Something 2. <laughs> what? 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 Ryan Seacrest How? of American Ryan. Idol fame Ryan Seacrest. announced Draw Something 2. <laughs> why does Ryan Seacrest get to do something like that? And why do we need to Draw Something 2? Why? I, draw I, I don't, wait, draw can, Something 2? Draw we're harder? We're going to draw more than just like... We're going to... Are we going to draw four pictures, one word, for one word? Is that Maybe. what we're doing now? We're we all I, going to draw four pics. I wonder, instead of ads now, it's just going to be Ryan Seacrest going, we'll find out what you drew after the break. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I found the link uh, here. I'm going to throw it to Sorg. So the link of the Skyrim is, is the Skyrim game mm-hmm. at 2.50 at at two minutes and fifty seconds into the video, it's and you don't even need the actual the actual audio sword. You can just play it. It's like very visual. Right. But there's there was this big thing where people were playing Skyrim and they were trying to do like trick shots. So in the game, you would like throw a ball in, uh, into a basket, and then they were trying to like one up each other, trying to do like an ultimate trick shot. Oh, wow. And uh, there's this one team that did like the most incredible trick shot that's been ever done on Skyrim. And they actually took video of when of when they actually got it. They were trying to do it for like weeks, 
but the video has two million point five, like two point five million views or, or something. Oh, wow. um, and you can see them like trying to do all these trick shots, and then at this last point, they actually make the shot and the people go crazy because they had they had it recorded live it was, it's pretty it's pretty interesting um i do trick that's shots all. i mean when, like that whatever sorg plays it if he, i mean if he plays it but <laughs> I, 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 i'm loading i'm loading sorg describe it for the audio listeners. listen so here's what's happening right <laughs> so all right this is about four minutes here so this is them in skyrim and bobby maybe you can and it's probably gonna be a little sketchy here uh so so they're Looks hovering like this basket, right? Let me bump ahead here. We're probably, okay, now they got a ball. So you have to do a trick shot and like bounce it off a building or oh, something right. and then get it into the basket. And okay, now we got to cut out of them like watching while they're playing it. I presume this is at the end where they actually make it. Yes, so. this is them. That's them on the upper right. They're self videoing themselves. Um, so trying, trying to make, to this ultimate make shot. that come down and whoa! <laughs> so wow. they throw it at this. Okay, so it, th it throws it over on the other side. And they're like hugging and they're <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> it's like the NASA celebration. Did you see it like bounce horse. off like five buildings? <laughs> yes, that's awesome. So that's them like actually like making it um, and like live recording of it, you know, of it happening. But that was like a big thing at one point where everyone was trying to like one up each other. But that's. I'm surprised that you didn't know about that. That was like a big deal in like the Skyrim world for a little bit. Awesome. Every time, every time we're on the um, the one level in Call of Duty, the one map, I try to shoot the bas the basketballs in the basketball hoop with my gun. I ne I've never made it yet. I don't know if you can. You know, I think I just noticed that that like there were like balls and stuff in that one level like last weekend. I was like, yeah. I wonder if I could do stuff with this. I could try. I I I, I tried it with a shotgun, and the shotgun goes way over. Mm-hmm. It shoots it way uh, over. You um, said the, you said the dirty word in front of Chachi. Shotgun? Did it shotgun. also, shotgun. Did it also have a target finder on it? I offended you, Chachi. I'm sorry. You know, my neat thing is uh, shotguns with that. silencers. Yeah, oh. oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't I don't get so, it. Is that even so, possible? And I don't like it. I, try, I tried that once, and no. It goes... It's like, and it's even worse. Mm. It's a big puff of air. Awesome. All right. <laughs> What's next? Um, our next story is related to the webcomic. EA is is their their CEO stepped down. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Um, his name was uh, John Riccatello. Yep. I believe uh, he stepped down, and um, I can't remember the other guy's name that was replacing him. Ah, mm. uh, crap. Now, I mean, other than the problems that we've been talking about with SimCity, Tapped Out, uh, there's a new bug that came up with Origin, their uh, online kind of Steam-like service. Uh, it sounds like they they haven't been too successful. I mean, they're successful. They're a big company. They sell a crap load of games, right? But I guess mm -hmm. they've been below target for a lot of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. They, they've, they've, they showed the, the graph of their sales. Mm -hmm. And it was like way up, and then it just drops off suddenly. Oh, really? So, yeah. so is this now? Now, what is this? Is this mismanagement, or is this we're tired of the cookie cutter, cutter games you guys are spitting out every year? Is this I think a market response or a or a organizational problem? Well, they were voted like the worst company, and they will Voting be again this year. Word. So, I, yeah. I I mean, it's I always like saying that. It, it's most likely the whole. Uh, cookie cutter thing uh mm -hmm. I, I mean look at what they release it's all the same crap it's like oh there's another need for speed oh there's another madden oh there's another this game um it, it's uh and plus there are, i mean for years we've been getting stuff about uh how bad they are to work for uh wasn't it was a treyarch the two guys from treyarch that uh or infinity ward that were getting that was, that was activision well i'm sorry i'm sorry it was, it was, they have their own mess of problems but they're actually yeah. apparently oh they went to ea though i think they what didn't they i think yeah. they went to ea didn't they They went to ea well that's yeah. weird um okay well, but but still um yeah, there, there's plenty of uh stories like that coming out of ea uh it, it's maybe maybe it's just one of those uh things where a company just gets uh, big enough they hit their threshold and that's it and they're bouncing back down so they buy all of the sports 
it's not it for you. I mean, I mean, they, they, somebody's going to take over. I mean, they over. still have a lot of money invested in promotions and mm. like what they do for Madden during the NFL draft. Mm. The actual NFL draft is beyond conceivable. How well, well Madden has to be their big money maker right now. Yeah. All right. Like uh, just, but, just nope. because the cup in no? America, yes. Yeah. But overall, no. Oh, right. But but still, but they're going to still fun. push that. Um I, I mean, I don't expect them to go all oh, the claim on us any uh any day now or anything like that. Or midway or anything like that. Um no. but I, I think you're just going to see them but, kind of declining, you know. But I I I've seen people who have su- who played series of games Mm. and then when they see that ea is part of this now Mm. they they just go they they still play it but they go this game is so much better when it was without ea's services because there are less crashes less junk less money spent on purchasing stuff for the game Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's more or less just saying eh. Okay, I'm not going to play this then. You got to say they've really uh, adopted the whole mobile and microtransaction thing, haven't they? Uh, they were they're kind of the forerunners of this when it, when it came up when we started seeing it on Xbox and everything, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, I think I think uh, the SimCity thing was the straw that broke the camel's back with this guy. Yeah, that's that was the biggest flub. I mean, yeah. it's something like that that was expected. How many years had it been since the SimCity? And they do this, and, 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 and it just all fell apart on them, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's a game that people didn't even care, probably, that oh, it was in EA's camp or whatever. They're just like, it's a SimCity. I don't even know EA's on it, you know? Um, it, it's definitely come a long way since the old uh, Madden I would have bought it. Good? I would have bought it if it was still Maxis and if it was one player available without, you know constant internet connection yeah yeah mm-hmm. those were the, the two things that broke my wallet from being a part of it did you see um there was actually some commentary on it this week of um somebody asked because so, there was actually somebody i think hacked it or showed a way that it could be hacked mm-hmm. uh so you could play it by itself without yeah. connecting with the server like and then, you take out two lines of code yeah yeah so, something like that and then they went yeah. they went in and and told it might have been a little bit involved or something but uh they went. They went to the developers, or, or somebody with the with with the developers, and they said, "Well, why didn't you do this?" And say, "Well, it didn't really fit with their vision because we wanted to do the whole pollution thing and everything that, that all your cities were reacting to ones right beside them." So they really did kind of turn the thing into an MMO in the long run, I guess. So, but um, they still they still should have left that option where if you want to play by yourself, you could play by yourself. Yeah, yeah, just the the, the lonely version. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. So I wonder you if EA has such bad yeah. brand recognition now. If they're going to almost like spin off to another company that's going to kind of like have a different name, but it's going to be the same company, really. Because uh, that's what companies do a lot when they have such bad brand. Yeah. Uh, you know, recognition. They'll just create kind of like a division. Like you know, like maybe they'll call it Maxis. You know, like maybe mm-hmm. like they move everyone to Maxis because they have you know everyone loves them, mm-hmm. and then uh, kind of like stay away from EA. And I think instances like that, and also I wonder if it is a, you know, the Maxis people, or is it EA's problem that, you know, it's their servers, so that could be a whole other team, for all we know. Um, I think what you'll see happen, if they're going to spin it positive, is they're going to get somebody that cleans the crap out of it. You know, mm-hmm. much like we complained on, on Awesome Cast about Google's uh, deleting all the stuff that we might use, you know, but they're cleaning out all the all the dust bunnies, right? Uh, EA kind of needs to do the same thing. They have to say, oh, you know, somebody comes in and says, no, less, you know, more more quality over quantity is the problem. Mm-hmm. Because right now it's quantity over quality in the long run. Holy hell uh, with EA. Um, so, and I think that same thing, I think that's what kind of put the nail in the coffin for THQ too. Because mm-hmm. yeah. they were doing the same yeah. thing. I mean, we, we are starting to see the warts on, on WWE for a couple years now. Uh, with those games, uh, in but it, still, that, that was one game from THQ, though. That's one game yeah, series. But that's not the only mm-hmm. one. But no, that, that's the one long game series they've had. Mm-hmm. But they also had quality issues. Yes. And management issues. Yeah. And other issues that nobody mm-hmm. knew about until the, sh- the proverbial shit hit the fan. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, 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 and there could be even more going on with EA that we don't know about. We know about the, the corporate, the employee uprisings and everything. And we see the games that are coming out. You know, we're seeing the problems like SimCity and Origin. So, you know, it's kind of where is this coming from, you know, or is it just everything's in at the same time? It's a bad stroke of luck. And, you know, on top of the CEO thing, I, I don't know. I, you know, we'll see what the new guy does and if they can pull it out. Well, out um, going back to that, actually, um, they said uh, former EA CEO and board chairman Larry Probst will take over until they find a replacement. So they don't actually have anybody in charge per no, se yet. No, and that's, that's pretty typical. Uh, there's been yeah. a few other tech companies that have gone through a similar situation uh, yeah. and they just have like an interim kind of person. So well, this this Riccatello guy also was on one of, is was one of the eight CEOs to fire on on uh, from Forbes magazine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, in Wall the Street. chat, yeah. In the chat, Tony says it's five bucks if you want to know his name. The new uh, <laughs> the new CEO. Nice. Or like six hundred. Right. There, there were some oh, soft points. Good. <laughs> All right, that brings us to our uh, final segment, the boss battle. Um, we need music this, for this. <laughs> I know we do need like the Birdo music. Da, 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 da. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm finding it. I'm finding the music. Hold on, hold on. That's like wow, classic Super Mario Brothers music right there. Da, 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 da. Um, all right. Uh, what was your favorite PC game growing up? Sticking with the SimCity theme. PC game. You're just was, saying PC game overall. Uh, PC. Yeah, PC game overall. Um. Went like from b- back in the day, maybe um, either SimCity, SimCity up till SimCity Four, all right, something all right, like that. All right. Are we talking like, did I need a DOS prompt? No, no, it doesn't have to be that far back. <laughs> okay, just anything that is any any PC game, I guess. All right, all right. Who's going first? I guess I'll go first. Go first. It's probably body. the most obscure game, <laughs> and uh, oh, good, George. You guys have probably never heard of it, unless I, I, I've talked to you about it before. But uh, oh, probably uh, late '90s, early aughts. There was a game that starred Christopher Lloyd. Um, oh, oh, and it was a an animated point and click puzzle type game oh, well, and yeah. it was called Toonstruck hmm. mm-hmm. uh, the premise of the game was that uh, Christopher Lloyd was and it, he had a, a different name um, but Christopher Lloyd was an animator um, and his uh, his most popular character uh, needed a new a new comic uh, by like the next morning and he fell asleep while drawing and he ended up having a dream where he gets sucked sucked into the world that he created. Hmm. However, uh, the world that he created was being run by a king that was turning the, the world evil. So, like, all these friendly characters that he made um, were now completely twisted. And you had to, to dethrone the king in order to uh, return his, his friendly child... Uh, loving world back to normal. Hmm. So is it, that sounds interesting. So it was kind of like, uh, in the long run, this is the thought I always had back in the day when this came out, was it was like a, a cool world, the game. No. Kind of. Yeah, it was. Or Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Or Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It would be more like Who Framed yeah. Roger Rabbit. Okay. But I mean, it, an example of, uh, like, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly a kid-friendly game. No. Because, I mean, like, you would go in and... Uh, he he created a, a farm seat, like a farm, a farm area, and in the twisted version, um, they sent the horse to the glue factory, and oh, uh, wow. the the cows or, were into or Taco uh, Bell in England. The cows were into uh, dominatrix uh, stuff oh, like that. That's mm-hmm. utterly ridiculous. Yeah, oh. it was full of oh. bad puns like that that you had to be of an older <laughs> persuasion in order to actually pick up on. Yeah. Lunchbox would have said, Bobby, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it actually, it fits in perfect with the game. And I'm pretty sure that was one of the puns that they used. Mm-hmm. But it, it was, uh, overall, it was a pretty amazing game for what it was. Awesome. It sounded like it. I'm going to have to check that out if, it, if I can find an old copy of it. Okay. Or I, I haven't somewhere. been able to. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it is one of those that, like, 
required DOS or something ridiculous. Yeah, it and I, was. Remember, I remember playing the demo, and it was very, very hard to get loaded. Yeah, right. no, it was it was one of those ones where I tried to go back and replay it, and I had to drop my uh, my video card settings down to like sixteen bit color, <laughs> and I had to install uh, an emulator to emulate uh, a DOS box like because DOS it wouldn't box, run right. from the command prompt. Yeah, yeah. That's nuts. So I, I mean, it was extremely difficult to go back and play. Yeah, that's why. I, go ahead, Bob. Oh, um, I, go ahead. No, the, I didn't have anything. To say. No, no, no. I, I almost spoiled. <laughs> I almost spoiled my pick. Oh, you almost spoiled your pick. Yes. <laughs> well, what well, is your pick? Tell us. Oh, okay, okay. I, I had a bunch of them uh, uh, in my head, but that that made me think of the one, and, and that this is how I, I I it was the game I always wanted to play more of, but that whole DOS prompt crap mm. you know got in the way of it uh carmageddon which i'm so freaking happy they put it on the iphone <laughs> <laughs> you know to the point where like like I, it was one of those i had the game you know i didn't play as much because you had to deal with the dos stuff right and we were mm. like well into windows 95 at this point 98 maybe um and then they had carmageddon 2 which i bought solely so i could play it on windows without problems um and and i i still remember uh when i when i had my uh college job uh, 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 me and me and or Missy uh, were both working there at the time, and we would be on our, our lunch break uh, playing Carmageddon on a laptop. Yeah, nice. Um, we were in telemarketing, so it, it helped. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I love that it's on the phone. I I, lo- I was a real big fan when they had the big Kickstarter uh, a few uh, a few months ago uh, that they're they might be bringing it back and everything. So uh, yeah, I, I would say that have to be the most enjoyable. And the thing I loved about PC gaming because uh, you know at the time versus like Nintendo and stuff like that was it was always very no holds barred. You know, you felt mm-hmm. that when you played Quake. Duke Nukem, Shadow Warrior, which has a really crappy rendition on the iOS right now, by the way. Um, that and there's always shareware. I lived on shareware. So. Oh man, the uh, the trash talk that we would have across your house from playing Carmageddon. Oh my god, yeah. Or right. any any PC. I land forgot game. we land party Carmageddon. Yes. How did we manage that? We hadn't been done that with two. It couldn't have been the first one. No, it was two. But yeah. I mean, it was it was one of those nights where. Uh, back door in our Mountain Dew kicks where we went to Walmart and we got like four cases of Mountain Dew <laughs> and we didn't sleep for two days. Oh, Kids yeah. don't binge drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> we had the best Quake <laughs> sessions back then. Oh, I yeah. forgot about all that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, Riz, what's yours? I'm going to go really, really weird on this one. Uh, I'm going educational on you, on you guys. Number muncher? Number muncher. Wow, <laughs> number muncher. I completely guessed that. That does amazing. That, I I played that game as a kid. No, all the time. I thought he was gonna say Oregon Trail. All the time. Did they have I this played... on the Apple IIe? Yeah, they yes. had to have. They, they yeah, did. Shooter tutor. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hey, Riz. Yes. You ready to have your mind blown, buddy? I'm no, no. You ready to have your mind blown, buddy? No, don't, Uh-oh. don't. I'm ready. Just show. Do it. Apple App Store, bro. App Store. No. They look on Apple Store. No. Wait, on the iPhone? I, I, had, I had it on my Android. No. Yeah. Mind blown, right? Chris is gonna get educated now. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> holy, holy shit! It's on here. You're welcome. <laughs> there it is. It's a whole dollar ninety nine for this thing. Are yes. you kidding me? Wow. I, I bet you. I bet you anything that Riz is buying it right now. You bet he's already downloading it right I'm now. Down, I'm doing it right now. Go you ahead. Show us your password. You know what? That's the challenge. It's number much. It's <laughs> two bucks. Come on. Hey, name the challenge. Okay. With seven little words. Awesome. <laughs> well, oh yeah, that was my challenge anyway. So yeah. <laughs> what of like my guilty pleasure of when I, I was a kid, like oh, oh yeah, yeah of almost, of almost like a Sim City esque addiction. Not either. Anything, well, anything, anything PC, on PC. Right anything on the PC. Oh, there's where it's downloading. Hey, you, hold on, hold it down a little bit. There you I go. There it is. Grand Theft Auto One. I mean, I played that. Grand Theft Auto One. Yeah, yeah. I, I popped that up on the PC too. That was before. Yeah, the I'm. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Grand Theft Auto One. I mean. 
every – I mean, it, it had to have been every – like, so, like, you know when you – when, like, when, like, you're taking a test, and if you're the first one done the test, then you can play on, like, the computers. There, yeah. I – like, the last ten questions to every test, I always – purposely got wrong just so I could turn in the test really quick so I can, I can go play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> nice. What school did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's funny. It was, a, it was a Catholic school, but they wouldn't, they didn't let you load games <laughs> on it. They, true. They wouldn't let you load games on it. So we had, had it in like a hidden folder where Good, no one told nice. the teacher. Nice. Nice. It was, it was like me, me and my buddy Bob. It was one of the dudes, my uh, my boy Bobby, who I was telling uh, Sorg about yesterday, about maybe coming on to talk about wrestling. But um, but it was like me, him, my boy Jimmy, and then this kid Dan. He was like, yo, like you got to check out this game called Grand Theft Auto. And that's uh, kind of where we like downloaded it. Uh, put it in a secret folder, and then we played it during lunchtime. Nice. And then after when, when like when, uh, when we got done tests. Nice. I have a related story to that. I don't think I've shared on this show yet. Uh, it was my last uh, couple of days at at a school. I knew I was moving away from uh, for over the summer, and uh, they had a track and field day. You know where they had that last day where they say, "Oh, go do physical challenge." Da 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 da. Right. Um, yeah, we completely dished it. Went in a computer lab, loaded Duke Nukem 3D, and had a land party. <laughs> Take that nice. field day. Yeah. Bobby. All right. My, my video game choice uh, on the PC was um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, nice one. I, I would go to bed uh, in, this, in the summer times. I would start playing at like maybe 9 o'clock at night. I would look outside and there would be light coming through my door and birds chirping by the time I was done playing for the <laughs> night. I swear. I And... and I have no idea where the time went. I was just clicking and, and building amusement parks. Oh, Man. so many, so many memories of that game. Awesome. Building, right. building roller coasters and having them just blow up. Hey, because they were built awesome. improperly. <laughs> we lost Riz to number munchers now. <laughs> He's living his childhood. That's awesome. Oh, uh, really hey, like from the trouble. chat room, there's a huge list between Tom and uh, Antonio in there. Uh, X Wing versus TIE Fighter. Man, I played oh, the yeah. first TIE Fighter. That was awesome. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, Me- Mech Warrior 2. Next <laughs> Tom, is, Warrior. Uh, Tom is showing his age in the, uh, in the <laughs> chat room. Yeah. Uh, heavy Gear. Uh, <laughs> Zork. Leather Goddesses of uh, Phobos. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Evil Genius, The Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, of World Diamond Domination. Uh, uh, yes. yeah, for those of you who don't know, but uh, Zork and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy were both uh, text-based games. That's hardcore yeah, right there. That's hardcore. And one other game that I'm surprised has not been mentioned yet. What's that? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Oh yeah, that was even a game show on TV. That was a game go. show on there TV. Go. I, I got honestly say I only played that when when I pulled the NES copy out a few weeks ago. That's the only Carmen San Diego I ever played. Wow. I don't think I ever played it on the PC. Nope. Uh, Rockapella is not pleased with that answer, sort. <laughs> no, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> so. Double trouble to like... find you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Bobby, right. take us home. All right, um, you can follow us on uh, at InsertCoinTB. Mm-hmm. Uh, visit the website, uh, InsertCoinToBegin.com. Um, and I don't believe we have an email, Sorg. Do we have an email? No, we don't actually. Okay. <laughs> we don't have an email, but maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those things maybe we should talk about then. Maybe yeah, we should. Bobby. It's your All right. Um, that'll do it for this week. Uh, game over. Game <laughs> over.